Why so serious? <laughs> then they took your health and your pride. Finally, they left you to die. What will you do, Exile, when there is nothing left but to live or die? Gamers, jokes to 81, Trey Games Tuesday, Conan Exiles. So, this game is pretty awesome, but I am very conflicted with this one right now. Uh, so, I love it, but I also really hate it, and I'll go over the reasons why. First, let's start off with the online play. So they do have these three modes that you can utilize, either PvP, PvE, and Conflict, or PvE. As you all know, we all know what PvP and PvE is. The PvE and Conflict basically allows certain areas where you can go to PvP with other players when they have events or whatever time they have uh, you'd have to go by the server rules whatever so what happened to me was um, my buddy and I went to go play this he's in Australia I'm in the US and going through all the US servers they were all laggy and just garbage just near garbage I found one that was barely tolerable and the reason why uh, they're so bad as far as lag and the uh, connection rate and all that is because when you're fighting and it starts lagging out you get sliced in half like nothing and then you're gone and then you have to go back and get your shit um, so started playing it on this one server my buddy found some server that was hosted by some guy so we started playing on that for a couple weeks about three weeks into it dude decides out of nowhere to change the server from the Conan Exiles map or Exiled Lands to Isle of Sipta or whatever and so all our shit got wiped. My buddy was like level 60, I was like level 40, 45, and we lost everything. One day I just logged in, and all of a sudden I'm seeing a cut scene for Isle of Sipta. So I'm like, okay, this is some shit. So we lost everything after, you know, two, three weeks of getting leveled up and gathering stuff. So that was shit. Um, so I went back to playing on the American server that I was playing on previously, uh, and I played on that one for a couple weeks. Built this amazing castle that took what felt like forever, because I worked on it for two weeks straight, nearly every day, and then the third week... 
Um, the Age of War 4 update, I guess, came through. And I had two bases on this map. Actually, three. I didn't even check the third one because it was just a starter base. But I had three bases, and essentially what happened was... Uh, I had been traveling from my castle back to my other base to haul stuff to my base. And I got on after the update had happened, went to my castle, and everything had been wiped. Uh, so only one of my bases got retained. I don't know if it was the update or if they decided my castle was too big. I'll see if I have some pictures of it and I'll post those later. But um, yeah, so essentially I got checked two times. One time with just some guy's personal server and then the other time with the uh, server that's hosted by the company that built this game or made this game or whatever. I'm not exactly sure who hosts the servers. They might go through a third party, but regardless, the official servers are garbage. They are complete trash. I could not find one decent one that I could actually get on and actually be able to play the damn game. So, that is my rant as far as I love this game, but I also hate it because I've had some shitty experiences and put in a lot of hard work and when I went so yeah when I went back to my castle everything was gone except for the thralls the animals like everything was there except for the structures even the archers that I'd put up in the archer towers were there they just had fallen down in place so I was pretty pissed off about that but anyway so, the only way I'm playing this game now is I'm just going to start it in uh, single player. Because at least then I won't have to deal with the lag issues that uh, the official servers seem to have on every single official server. Uh, I'll just. Alright, let's check out these. Let's see, Exiled Lands. Civilized is easy. Decadent is normal. Barbaric is hard. Well, I usually don't do easy, so I'm just gonna do middle. Yeah, I'll play that one. So I'll just go through the uh, beginning part of it, basically getting going. Because really 30 minutes is, doesn't even scratch this game. There's so much you have to do in this game, it's unreal. I would not even recommend playing PvP because you'll go through all this time building up a base just for it to get instantly destroyed by somebody that's been playing this game non-stop since it was released. And that would just make you angry if you knew how much work there is to do to get anything done on this game. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'm going to go with Mel. I'm going to dedicate to this my other furry friend that I lost. Pissed off about that too, but... <sighs> lost another furry friend. So I'm going to go with... Probably a Sumerian. Yeah, descendants of ancient Atlanteans. Uh, now the one you can unlock all these once you get in game. So the the starting ones just really the one that you kind of get out, get going with. Um, I believe I picked the snake before, but then I switched it to Ymir because the, uh, the ice god looks pretty cool once you summon him. And then there's another one in-game that you can unlock. And then, yeah, I did buy some of the upgrades so that I could have the horses and then saddles for the rhinos and shit like that. The gods are watching. The gods are watching. The gods are watching. Cut me down, please. Death 
is coming. Cut me down, please. Kind of lame that the Desperate's the one that's just the Arnold. Cut me down, please. Cut me down. Get to the chopper. Oh wait, sorry, that's a different one. All right, so there's a shitload of options. I'm not gonna go through them. I'm gonna just basically do generic. Um, for the most part. Don't want to look too ugly. Don't look mean and rugged. Mm, let's do that shade, I guess. Sure, why not? And since I'm doing this for my furry friend that was orange, I'm going to do orange hair. And I want. Let's see. We yeah, want the mohawk with the ponytail. Yeah, that one. Um, yeah, there's a crap load of customizations. And there's uh, some nudity and topless stuff, whatever. But uh, I've turned. gonna not be doing that because I don't want to get banned. Whatever, I don't know. It looks kind of mean. Uh, let's make him more. Uh, let's do these ones, I guess. Sure, why not? Uh, yes. Let's do. We'll go with that one. It's the same color as my top hair, so yeah, I'll go with that. My shadow. Maybe just like a little bit like that. More paint. I'm gonna get that later. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can go in and adjust in here, but my guy looks pretty mean, so I think I'm just gonna leave it alone. I said we're I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. And then I guess we'll do a little bit taller. We want him kind of a big guy. Don't worry about the breast size, it's really for the chicks, and then you can add yeah, down. I'm gonna keep it on none for now. So yeah, like I said, and let's see. Um, I think that's just all face. Yeah. I want to just see if I can make his body thicker. Not really, I guess. I make his pecs smaller. Good enough. I'll name it after my fuzzy friend. Kahuna. Well, that's uh, it's a A, isn't it? Kahuna. Good enough. During the year of the Cobra, a prisoner captured by unknown means was transported into the exiled lands, crucified and left to die for crimes that they may or may not have committed. Death comes swiftly on black wings, until fate intervenes. Yeah, sounds about right.
thirsty, dead man. Shall I cut you down from that corpse tree? It might kill you. You civilized men are soft. Your lives are not nailed to your spines. I come from, we kill our enemies in battle. We don't Ow. leave them in the desert to die like dogs. So, I you live again, like dead water. man. This land does not love men. Live, love, burn with life, slay and survive. We will meet again, dead man. Beyond the passage of our highways, by the wild places of the world, where untamed savages make endless war upon each other. You cannot yep. pass into the endless wastes enslaved. Your bonding prevents it. Return. Yeah. Follow the road. Any road. All roads lead to the city. That's what Colin said. Not about the road part, but like the other part. I mean, the strange man in the desert. Oh, I want that food, damn it. Gimme. There we go. God, which button does what? Oh, hey. Dead person here. Okay, so yeah, basics, survival stuff, gather sticks, rocks, all that shit. Oh yeah, we gotta eat and drink. Um, there we go. Alright, let's see, gather fiber, so yeah, now I gotta gather fiber from the plants. Don't you mind what I'm doing in this bush. Mind your own business. Oh yeah. Um, I need one more. Give me a this bush. Yeah, you know what you're doing. Alright. Uh, craft and wear clothing. Sure. Why not? Basics. Alright. Expand tribute points. Right, let's go in here. Go to here. We'll go ahead and add on to strength. And for now, I'm gonna do grit. Put some rocks. Put some rocks. Put some rocks. Over here, some more rocks. 
There's more survivors. Yeah, there's no so there's nobody else. It's like uh, I'm Conan Highlander. There can be only one. Let's see. I need to go this way. That. There we go. Gods cursed this sandstorm. We were forced to take refuge before the wind yep. scoured the skin from our faces. There is something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins, and their howls mingled with the screaming winds. The men are scared. I've put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches from the loose stones and rough plants that dot this place. I've yet to meet a beast that like fire, or the bite of the axe. I like fire. Um, yeah, gather branches. Kind of in the middle of doing that. Thank you. Thank you for telling me to do what I'm already doing. Helpful. Grab some more. Get some more sticks. Don't want to craft more than just one thing. Alright, it wants me to make a pickaxe. You got it. Boom. Pickaxe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. alright. There we go. Craft a stone weapon. Perfect. Um, oh, yeah, I gotta unlock uh, knowledge. So, let's see here. I want a double handed sword. I'm gonna need a bow. So, I want that one, that one, I might do the shield, probably want to do a regular one later, I'll just do that one for now, and uh, let's see, I'll unlock that one, that should be good, okay, now I'm going to craft more shit, uh, two handed sword, I need some twine. I'll go ahead and make uh, ten of those. Sure, why not? I'm going to craft me my sword. Ah, oh, yeah. Killing. Oh, wrong button. Sorry. There we go. Alright, let's see. Where the hell am I? Check the map. Okay. Perfect, actually. Well, about. Probably want to start my base off right about here, just because it's close to some metal. You can really build it anywhere along this new river. And it just depends on where you prefer. There's some metal down here, there's some metal down this way, there's some metal down here, there should be some horses over here. Uh, there's supposed to be some up here. I know there's some up here. Mother loads up in the higher areas, but just to start off, get some basic stuff going so that I can have some decent armor so I don't get one shot. I'm just gonna start off down here. Yes, I am following the road out of the desert. Thank you. Oh, 
so I need some more sticks and shit. This area is not too many tough things, really. Just turtles and some some dudes, and then, then these weird exploding guys, and yeah. But, uh, let's see if I can see anything. Just throw down a bedroll, just in case. I'll kill something. Here we go. Okay. Oop, there you are. Ooh. things because it does give you stuff. Uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. There's so much to this game, there's no way to cover it in 30 minutes. So really I just wanted to go through the basic stuff and I was hoping to get a base set up but I'm already almost 30 minutes here. Alright, let's make the wraps. I'll go ahead and make all four, why not? This stuff can be adjusted. I usually like to uh, put stuff where I like it. Oops. Definitely don't want the bugs there. And put my sword there. And I'll do the pickaxe there. The axe there. I might switch those around. And then we'll leave those there. The water skin. Food. Alright. Good. Okay. Heal myself. I guess if you insist. Oh yeah. Harvest meat from a corpse. Alright, no problem. Find something to kill. Where are you at, turtle motherfucker? Harvest meat. That should do it. There we go. And we got some meat. Um, oh, hey, there's a turtle. Not oh, my fault. I didn't kill him. Although you can get these turtle shells to make a shield, but it's only good in the early game, so it's honestly kind of worthless because it. It's not a very frequent drop, kind of a rare drop, but I can also pick those little buggers up and take them and make some, uh, I guess, buddies or thralls or whatever, and haul around. Just gonna gather some basic shit, and then, let's see, I think I will go up the coast a little bit. That way I can get some... Let's see, where am I again? Uh, 
uh, where's the map button? I forget. Oh, there we go. There it is. Alright, so... Oh my god, really? I have to zoom in. Uh, I don't know if it's this cove or over here. There's somebody you can talk to. You can learn, like, emojis and shit. Like, talking to people. Let me go over here real fast. And then I will continue. What? I did harvest meat from a corpse, did I not? Did I get any raw meat? Did not. Hmm. And I will do that. Yes, I'm thirsty. Oh, there's a gator. Oh, give me, give me some meat. Come here, you. Skin. Sure. Just gotta come in the water. Uh, fill it up. Alright. Oh, that needs some more healing. I'm wigging out. Mm -hmm. As I'm wrapping myself. Alright. Let's uh, down. Yonder, there's a couple people over there. You might be able to kill. But I want to kind of go over to where I was going to go. Which is right here. Head down that way. Heal some shit on the way. Maybe level up. Let's see if I can also get some uh, aloe. I'm gonna need that shit. Ah, you know what? I just can't resist. I'm sorry. Whoops. Is that yours? I'm sorry about that. Didn't mean to. Just kidding. I did. Um. weird because only the babies drop the turtle shells which yeah gotta be kind of brutal on this game as it's called oh man for a reason okay yeah, I got some eggs nice all right whereabouts am I Just gonna go around here, hop on that other little island and swim over. Oh, something wants to attack me. Where are you? Oh, oh shit! Ow! 
fucking part of the deal, buddy. Ow! Hey. I think you're taking unfair advantage, sir. Oh, no! Ah. Didn't listen. Yes, as you can tell, I've played this before. Alright, we get some money. Yeah, me get me. Um, uh, I'll take it. Nope, 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 nope. Damn it. That's the button I wanted. Yes. Where's your friend? Oh, he got his ass kicked. Fine. Okay. Do a lot of rapping. Put this away for now. Ah, I'm stuck on a rock. I discovered the sentinels. I think this is where that guy is I want to talk to, yeah. Give me some kind of emoji thing. I don't think there's anything in that. Alright, how's it going? Uh, where is he? There you are. Well, Another new one, eh? I can smell um, it on you. Veterans tend to smell just a little more like despair. Okay. Like Marcos. Um, Once a sailor, now a wanderer. You didn't think you were the only one, did you? <laughs> you should go yeah, up north. Um, There's whole cities of exiles up there. Okay, cool, thanks. You like, shut up now? Busy. We gotta gather this stuff. Kill these little turtles. Ah. Oh. Sorry about that. Away, dude. Okay, yeah, let's go cross right here. Let's go swim. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Man, that little guy is very elusive. Come here, buddy. How are you doing that? There you go. Ooh, you're angry. I'd be too. That's a tough one. I'm gonna have to watch that. Ouch. Stop it. Is a badass. 
Right. Gonna be eating good tonight. Bunch of turtle meat. See, I didn't get one shell. I was trying to show you the shell that you get off these guys, but I haven't picked one up yet. Rare as shit. And I'm not even going to really use a shield anyway, so... Come on, get the egg. Did I hear another little guy? I did. Where you going, buddy? Come here! Hey. Hold still. I'm trying to help you. Parents are gone. This is the best option. Promise. Still nothing. I think I got everything off of here. Um, oh yeah, this is this guy. Still nothing. Okay, well. It's all plenty to eat. I could probably harvest some more aloe later, but whatever, it's fine. Let's heal myself up before I go over there. Work gators. Set up a little camp and then uh, I'll be done. This one. This video is going to be a bit longer than uh, I wanted to, but like I said, it's hard to squeeze all the stuff of this game in 30 minutes. I mean, hell, I haven't even scratched the surface. He is up there. I don't want to go up there right now. Just gonna set up a little base camp up right here because I can gather some metal and shit. That's probably where I'll do it. Uh, somewhere around here, but let's uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it right here. This is a nice little spot. That's where I did it before. I'll fit the basic stuff. Stick it on back here. Let's do the fire. Alright, uh, let's see. I need stone. How do I not have stone? Hmm. There's plenty around. Once I get a uh, little base camp set up. And yeah, there's faster ways that you can like get quick levels and shit and better ways to start off than what I'm doing. But uh, this is the way I want to do it. Because if I continue to play this game, it's going to just be 
it by myself because online sucks so bad. So disappointing. So yeah, if you do play online, you're going to have to host your own server so that you can set your own settings and pay for the necessary processing power needed to run this game because for some reason the official uh, servers that are run by the people who made this game don't feel like they should uh, be able to run properly or whatever. It's a genius. Alright, where is my fire? Where are you fire? Fire, fire. Yeah, yeah, fire. on the ground, you dumbass. Fuck. Alright, whatever. It's fine. Cook some shit. Now, uh, let's see here. Damn it. Been in there. Been in there. Can't cook the bugs. Uh, they're for fish traps, or you can eat them, I guess, if you want. Coarse leggings. Uh, let's see. Split that with R1. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and load up the fire source. Get that cooking. Alright, finish that quest off. I'm gonna make me another bedroll. Because I left that other one back. And I'm not going back there. Make me a bow. Oh, I can start making these. Weak aloe potions. I'm gonna have to gift wrap myself every time. Um, my bow, there it is. Put that right there. I don't think you can cook the eggs in here. I think you need an oven. And you just eat these. Eat them raw. And then you can make roll with the seeds and uh, fiber. Yeah, that's it uh, with this one, yeah, really. Okay, so I'll go ahead and eat that. My hail. So now I got a check mark on that journey. It's whatever accomplished multiple journeys unlocked. So essentially, this is where you spend your knowledge points and learning what types of things to build, what you want to build. Uh, more gets unlocked as you level up, obviously. And then tribute points. This will go into like uh, strength, carry weight, stamina, all that fun stuff. Mm player. This is the journey. So essentially when you finish off a journey you get a uh, supply kit or something, some kind of reward when you go through all these little things and check them off. So essentially you just want to go through basics. That way you can get these little doodads, extra little gadgets and whatnot, and they do help out lower level. Uh, but once you get higher level, it really don't matter because you can get some epic shit and start doing some dungeons and quests and whatever and whatnot, some things and shit and all the stuff. You know how it go. Um, yeah, I need to unlock that so I can start building shit. Uh, I want a storage box. I need to level up so I can get a, a will of pain so I can start making. Uh, friends, <laughs> we'll call them, and I need to level up so I can get a horse, I think it's level 20 or something, somewhere around there, yeah, that's it, uh, you can make clans, and it just shows all your followers, and uh, yeah, this map is pretty big, I have been to a lot of places on the map. I have not been in the frost area or the volcano yet though. Cause yeah, I have this huge ass castle built up there. 
and then I had another spot right here and then me and my buddy were playing we had a spot over here yeah too bad all that shit got wiped official servers sucked and uh, wiped all my stuff unofficial servers just the same unless you're running it yourself yeah this game I love it but uh, yeah kind of mad all that hard work gone pain in the ass I hate when that happens but I guess it's just the way survival games go anyway that's it for Conan Exiles peace out